students i am this is megha naik miss and today we are going to start with a new lesson in science a that is lesson number 5 heat now last chapter you have studied lesson number 3 that is chemical reactions and equations we are going to link that chapter here two types of reactions you studied we are going to see whether you are remembering that okay now you here you can see the next slide that is you are seeing a two reactions are there calcium carbonate plus heat gives you calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas calcium oxide plus water gives you calcium hydroxide plus heat and down I have written here determine which one is endothermic and exothermic reaction so i hope you have guessed which one is endothermic and which is exothermic reaction depending upon that word heat right now in the first one heat is in the reactant side and it is absorbed in the chemical reaction so we will call it as the endothermic reaction while in the second one you will see that the heat is given out it is in the product side so we will call that the it is an exothermic reaction so this heat was important to carry out the chemical reaction so same way in this lesson we are going to study different components related to this heat okay now the next slide which you can see we are going to study the two definition about the heat and temperature you are going to note down in your book okay heat is the transfer of energy that results from the difference in the temperature between a system and a surrounding while temperature you will define it as temperature is the measure of how cold or hot something is specifically a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in an object so in simple words we will say that the temperature is how cold or hot object is and we are using a thermometer to measure this temperature and heat of course you have studied that the flow of heat always is going to take place from the hotter substance to a colder substance and this flow of energy is going to continue till both the substance attain same temperature that means they are going to attain an equilibrium okay so the flow of energy remember it is always going to be from the hotter substance to the colder substance and this flow of energy will continue till the equilibrium is attained that is both the substance will be having same temperature in simple words okay now you have understood the difference between the heat and temperature okay the next concept we are going to study related with this heat is the latent heat now what is this latent heat the heat required to convert solid to liquid or vapor or liquid into a vapor without change in temperature we called it as a latent heat here important is without change in temperature so i am going to bring about different Uh, changes in the state of matter but i am going to keep my temperature constant so that heat which is going to help me to bring about the conversion of the states of matter by keeping the temperature constant i will call it as a latent heat you are going to note down the definition okay now we are going to study different concepts using this experiment okay now what is this is a simple experiment what is it there in this experiment i'll explain you okay now here if you observe the diagram you will see that i have got a beaker in the beaker i have taken ice cube pieces okay then you will see i have kept it on a wire gauze and i have kept it on the stand then down you can see a burner which is lighten up above you can see a thermometer the bulb of the thermometer is deep inside the ice cubes okay and it is holded to a stand now what i am going to do is i am going to start with my experiment now you know first the temperature of the ice is going to be 0 degree celsius right and this temperature that is 0 degree celsius is going to remain constant till it is totally not getting converted to water okay that means ice is going to remain at 0 degree celsius that is the temperature there is going to remain 0 degree celsius till whole ice does not get converted to water so this constant temperature at which any solid gets convert to liquid we called it as the melting point of that substance so here we will say the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius understood melting point definition now we will see that when the uh, this ice is melting of course it is going to absorb the heat 
right because i am put up the burner from down so heat is there so that heat is utilized for the weakening of the bonds of the atoms of the ice so we will say that we are going to study one definition that the heat energy which is absorbed by the substance to convert from the solid to liquid at a constant temperature we call it as latent heat of fusion what you will call it as the latent heat of fusion in simple words again i'll tell you that the heat which is absorbed by the substance to convert from a solid to liquid at a constant temperature we will call it as the latent heat of fusion so i hope two definitions are clear to you melting point that is the constant temperature at which the solid turns to liquid is called the melting point of that substance here the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius and latent heat of fusion that is the heat energy required for the conversion of this solid into a liquid at constant temperature we are going to call it as latent heat of fusion i hope both the definitions are clear okay now we will go further now further what is going to happen now that ice is melting to water now totally it will melt to water right now water slowly the temperature is going to increase of the water because of the heat now that temperature till what it is going to reach it is going to reach till 100 degree celsius you know that the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius now what is that boiling point so at the constant temperature when a substance changes from the liquid to a vapor state that temperature we called it as the boiling point of that liquid okay now here boiling point of liquid is 100 degree celsius what is that liquid here water so the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius so the temperature constant temperature at which the liquid changes to vapor we called it as the boiling point of that liquid clear definition for boiling point now next what is happening now that water is also going to absorb the heat and it will use that heat for weakening of the bonds between the water molecules okay so that heat energy which is absorbed by a solid to get converted into a gaseous state okay that solid ice turn to liquid so now that liquid whatever heat it is going to absorb to change into a gaseous state at a constant temperature we will call it as latent heat of vaporization what you will call it as a latent heat of vaporization so again i'll repeat the heat which is absorbed at a constant temperature by a substance to convert from liquid into a gas we will call it as a latent heat of vaporization so here we saw the four definitions first one was melting point latent heat of fusion boiling point latent heat of vaporization so i hope all the four definitions are clear to you okay now we are going to plot a graph you can see here in the next slide i'll show you the graph it is the temperature versus time graph time is in the x axis you can see it in the minutes temperature i have taken on the y axis and what is this nature of the graph if you see see the first one at the 0 0 axis you will see ab okay ab is what ice plus water is written that means there the ice is converting slowly into the water and as i said that it is going to remain 0 degree celsius till whole ice does not get converted to water so it will be a steady line okay straight line then you can see that it has gone up that is bc line can you see there and on that bc line it is written water liquid that means it is in the liquid state water and it is the temperature is increasing and you can see it has reached to 100 and then cd line you can see where it has become constant right so there it is the boiling water 100 degree celsius is the boiling water and it is slowly going to get converted to vapor so uh, even though i continue heating temperature will not increase but the water will get converted into vapor state so i hope you understood the graph first you can see the ab straight line then you will see the bc line where the water has start it is also absorbing heat and it has started increasing its temperature till 100 it had went and then cd you can see that again it's a straight line and the temperature will not increase above 100 degree celsius again i'll explain you in the next slide if you see 
same graph I have kept aside and I have written here line AB represents conversion of ice to water at a constant temperature. What is that constant temperature I told you? 0 degree Celsius. Okay. Line BC represents rise in the temperature of water from 0 to 100 degree Celsius. While line CD represents that even though heat is provided, temperature does not rise and remains constant. So that constant temperature 100 degree Celsius we called it as the boiling point of the water. Okay, here my liquid is water. So I hope you have understood the four definitions. Again, the important two definitions we will study in the next slide. We saw specific latent heat of fusion. You are going to write it down in your notebook. Important definition. The amount of heat energy absorbed at a constant temperature by unit mass of a solid to convert to liquid phase is called specific latent heat of fusion. Same, the amount of heat energy absorbed at constant temperature by unit mass of a liquid to convert into gaseous phase is called the specific latent heat of vaporization. So here for both the definition, four points, important point you will remember. First one, you are going to remember heat absorbed, unit mass of a substance that is to convert from solid to liquid, constant temperature is latent heat of fusion. Again, second, first the second one you will remember, heat absorbed, constant temperature, conversion of the liquid to gas, unit mass of the solid is called as the latent heat of vaporization. So both the definitions you are going to study, you are going to note it down in your notebook, very important, okay. Now, I hope this concept was clear to you. The next concept we are going to start with that is the regulation. Now what is this regulation? The phenomenon in which the ice converts to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called as regulation. Okay. Now and down I have shown you some picture. Now all of you will be very happy to see that picture. It is an ice gola. As summer time is there, of course, if someone gives you this, you are going to enjoy eating it, right? Now, if you have uh, any time observed that person making this ice gola, he is using this regulation concept, okay? He is related with the science, okay? Now, what is that? Now, you know, he will take an ice slab, he will crush it. Means he is going to apply a pressure. So, the solid is getting converted to liquid because of the applied pressure. And what he will do? He will take that crushed ice, take a stick and put it with the pressure only. He will put it, he will uh, try to jumble all that ice on that stick and he will remove his hand and of course the ice will get stuck to that stick. That means the pressure is removed and again I am going to get the ice. So this concept we called it as a regulation. Means because of the applied pressure it is going to convert to liquid but as the pressure is removed it will get converted back to the solid. So this concept is a regulation. Okay and here we are studying regulation of ice. Now, this way will become more clear to you by seeing this experiment. Now, here what apparatus is very simple. I have taken one table. On the table also I have taken one small table. On that I have kept an ice slab. Okay. And I have taken a string. On that string, two sides I have put the same width. Okay. And that string I have placed on the ice. Now, what will happen? Now, what you will say is that string will come down and the ice will break. This is the one thing which we will come to our mind, okay? But this doesn't happen. What will happen? We will see the observations, okay? Now, what it is observed? It is observed that wire comes out of the ice slab. You will see that the ice will not break. That ice slab will not break, but the wire will come down. But how this happens? Here, the melting point of ice becomes lower than 0 degree Celsius due to pressure. You know that wire is going to apply that some pressure on that slab and because of that, melting point will decrease below 0 degree Celsius. This means that at 0 degree Celsius, ice will get converted to water. Okay, So, because of that uh, decrease in the melting point, it is going to turn to liquid. As soon as the pressure I will remove, the melting point is restored to 0 degree Celsius and water gets converted into ice again. So this phenomenon we called it as the regulation. Again we will see the diagram. 
here you can see now the upper part the string is there right so when the upper part is having that pressure so slowly when it will go inside upper part of course melting point will get lower down it will be below zero and the, it is going to ice will get converted to liquid now as it is moving downwards again upside the pressure is going to be removed now the pressure will be in between okay so as the pressure is removed the melting point will be restored and hence the water will get converted to ice again okay and this phenomenon will go on and on and on till that string comes to the down position okay and finally it will be on that table and the ice slab will not break at all so this concept we called it as a regulation and you saw this regulation where it is used this is used by this ice golas maker okay so see so many things are there in around us which are utilized in our day to day life so this is concept regulation which we are using in our daily life i hope you understood the application of this regulation this is a new concept for you i hope you understood okay again if you want you are going to see this slide see the definition and you are going to note down it definition is in this slide the phenomenon in which the ice convert to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once pressure is removed is called regulation this definition only you are going to write in your exam okay now i hope till here the concept is clear to you now the next concept which we are going to see that is about the anomalous behavior of water now what is this anomalous behavior of water now you know all the liquids when you are heating it it will start to expand and when you are cooling it it will contract now you have studied this expansion and contraction in all three states of matter okay in liquid state heating it will expand contract on cooling but now water is showing an exceptional case now what is this exceptional case water is showing now when i am heating water between 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius it will start to contract instead of expanding now this different behavior of water between this temperature we called it as anomalous behavior of water now water shows exceptional behavior as when it is heated 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius it is contracting and at this 4 degree celsius its volume is minimum due to contracting now as you have understood between the 0 and 4 the behavior of water now what happens after 4 degree celsius now if the water is heated further then it start expanding and its volume increases that means how the other liquids they will start expand same way again water from 4 degree celsius it will start expanding and volume will increase the behavior of water between the temperature from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius we called it as anomalous behavior of water and as i told you at 4 degree celsius as the volume is minimum the density of the water is going to be maximum at 4 degree celsius okay remember this point important for mcq okay now so this concept of anomalous behavior of water it was studied by hopes he was one of the scientists charles hopes so we are going to study his experiment in the next presentation he used this uh, concept by performing an experiment he explained this concept why the density of water is maximum at 4 degree celsius okay so i hope you understood what is anomalous behavior of the water okay definition is important that is the behavior of water between the temperature 0 to 4 only this much temperature and is called is as the anomalous behavior of water between this temperature it is going to contract instead of expanding this is important line okay now this concept is also used in our day to day life by the surrounding aquatic life specially use this anomalous behavior of water how they are using it we are going to study again in the next presentation i will tell you about that okay now the next concept we are going to study that is the unit of the heat now what are this units of the heat now unit of the heat in the 
SI units it is joule and in CGS system it is calories okay now the amount how you are going to define one calorie heat and one kilo calorie heat very important definitions you are going to write down in the notebook the amount of heat necessary to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree celsius from 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius is called as one calorie heat similarly the amount of energy necessary to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water from 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius is called 1 kilocalorie heat. So both the definitions are very important. Again you have the relationships which are very important while solving the sums. 1 kilocalorie heat is 1000 calories while 1 calorie you have 4.18 joules so both the relation that is 1 kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories and 1 calorie is 4.18 joules we are going to use in the sums okay like they will ask you the sum for the conversion of the answer if it is given in the calories convert it into kilocalories okay so you will use this relationship and you are going to convert it same way both the definitions are important unit SI system that is joule and CGS system is calorie is also important you are going to remember for MCQ okay so here today we studied about the concepts that is definition of heat and its unit you are going to remember what was heat it is a transfer of energy there will be difference in the temperature of the system and the surrounding okay and what are its units its unit where SI system was the joule and CGS system was the calories okay what was the relationship 1 kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories you are going to remember next one we saw 1 calorie is equal to 4.18 joules next thing we studied difference between heat and temperature we saw that temperature was what it was just you can say in the simple words it is telling you about how cold or hot the object is okay so it is just a major you can say and that major you are doing measurement with the use of a thermometer okay and temperature you have the units also you know for the temperature that is degree celsius degree fahrenheit or kelvin okay you have the three units you have degree celsius degree fahrenheit and you are having the kelvin so these are the three units in which the temperature is measured next we saw specific latent heat of fusion and vaporization specific latent heat of fusion was what that is the heat which is required we can say or absorbed by the substance to convert from the solid to liquid at a constant temperature by a unit mass of a substance we will say is called as the latent heat of fusion and what was specific latent of vaporization that is the heat absorbed by the unit mass of a substance to convert from the liquid to a gas at a constant temperature is the specific latent heat of vaporization next concept you saw regulation what was regulation regulation is what we will say that when we are applying a pressure the ice gets converted to liquid and once the pressure is removed the liquid reconverts to ice back this concept was regulation okay so it was totally depending upon the applied pressure okay next was anomalous behavior of water what was this anomalous behavior of water what it tells you that the water is showing the different behavior if i am heating water uh, boy, uh, heating uh, i can say if i am applying the heat water will start boiling and it is showing that between 0 to 4 degree celsius instead of expanding it is contracting and then after 4 degree celsius it again expand okay you know it is going to boil till 100 degree celsius so this behavior of water between 0 to 4 degree celsius is called as anomalous behavior of the water other liquids are going to show normal uh, thing that is it is going to expand 
when we are heating and they are going to contract on cooling but water is only a substance which is showing an exception that is we call it as the animalist behavior of water so this animalist behavior of water as i told you we are going to see how the hobbes apparatus is going to explain us about the maximum density as i told you as the volume is minimum at 4 degree celsius of course the density is going to be maximum at this 4 degree celsius and we are going to see an experiment done by the hopes which is going to explain us about the uh, this statement that is at the 4 degree celsius why the density is maximum okay so i hope for today you have understood all this you have understood all this concept that i have taught you okay so next presentation we are going to study about the hopes apparatus i hope you will remember all the terms which i taught you today and we will continue in the next period okay till that time you learn all this concept take care of yourselves thank you bye